All right, so do you want the good news or the bad news first? Uh, the good news is I have the answer to uh, can you make a loft, uh, sorry, can you make a network that follows the uh, pre-existing geometry's flow? The answer is not exactly, not easily at least. And uh, the bad news, sorry, sorry, the good news is that, I forgot actually, whatever. Uh, overall, the news is as follows. Um, It's kind of a headache because the actual answer is that uh, you have to either plan out your model so that um, everything will flow nicely when you're done constructing, or you have to do what I do, which is as you're concepting, you just rebuild parts as uh, the kind of like discrepancies in the flow of the parts becomes too much. Uh, you just rebuild the part and you just kind of like take away all of the unnecessary noise and you make sure that everything has a smooth transition and is actually built to fit perfectly into each other. And you sort of like void all of those like weird topology bits that cause issues. Um, and that's pretty much the only way to really get your flow to um, sort of like your surface flow to continue. Because what happens is that um, anytime you make a loft or you make a network, um, Moe is creating a surface or a form based off of the given information. And a lot of times if you have sort of like a patch, right? So like on the cheek or something, um, the sheer complexity of the original surface makes it so that just by giving it like a few curves that match the surface, you get something that kind of fits and sometimes the seam in between um, your new surface and your old surface is like very small and very hard to notice and you can kind of place them at key points and sometimes you can actually use them as creases and accents but ultimately um, yeah the only thing you can really do is uh, either plan or be comfortable rebuilding uh, your object and uh, that's kind of it. I mean, you know, the thing that I wish that I could see, and I don't know how hard this would be to implement, but the main issue with when you network and you have just that ugly transition from a previous surface is that there is a corner point. Uh, it's just like a hard crease even if the original line were just like perfectly smooth if there was a way to go into a surface and actually edit vertices in the surface uh remove them and so on that would probably be the best um but ultimately i mean i guess you would you could use fusion 360s uh i forgot what it's called it's 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 kind of like a poly modeling uh system um or you could keep uh, the curves you use to build your surfaces and try to model in a way that if you need to sort of recreate a flow, you can just recreate it um, using those curves and sort of like the new curves that you have in place. Uh, so here you can see me just trying a whole bunch of different methods to um, continue the geometry you know and it really just comes down to the fact that um you know these methods the networks the flows uh the the blends and and, and so on the lofts um there's no way to give it the right information to get the exact right surface you can get a surface that kind of fits some of the criteria but then not others and also sometimes is just sort of like a matter like like the ball on the top right corner right like that just make make something there a solid and then put a sphere in there and you know fill it that's that's it you know like so sometimes it's it's sort of up to us as modelers to just see moments like that and just you know 
do our job basically <laughs> um because that that doesn't need to be as complicated as i made it i made it that complicated for the example but it eventually was just like this makes no sense to to do it this way um and yeah 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 overall uh yeah i wish i had a better at least a more satisfying answer i feel like my answer is basically um you kind of can't do it or you have to prepare so much ahead of time so i feel like it defeats the point of concepting oh you have to keep rebuilding it i mean like the rebuilding i i personally don't mind as much because it gives me an opportunity to review my form and to i always have more than one thing that i would reproach reproach any form that i make so i don't really mind just rebuilding it anew and you know fixing all the stuff that has been bothering me and just itching me uh, it does mean I take a lot of breaks, though, because repeating stuff does, does get kind of tedious, but... Yeah, I mean... <sighs> I tried to find something, but really it just comes down to uh, you either plan or you build. Or, or you, sorry, rebuild, you know. Um, but, yeah, so uh, that's about it. I just wanted to put out an answer to uh, to that question real quickly.